And over here you'll see people actually selling cigarettes in bulk. What are the brands? Wilson. I wonder if these are legitimate cigarettes or if they're counterfeit ones because they have been capturing a lot of counterfeit cigarettes lately. How much for this? I don't know. 50? So 50 peso apparently. So I'm home now. I asked the lady, what's the lowest price you can go? She said 40 peso. So we got a pack of Marlboro Red for 40 peso. But I'm telling you right now, this is fake. And what I did is I went to Shell gas station and I bought a real one so we can compare it. Uh, this cost 103 peso, so over double the price, but it's the real deal. And when you just see this being sold on the street, you might think, well, it looks real. It's got the warnings, it's got the stamp, it looks okay. Uh, but when you put them side by side, there are some big differences. First of all, the fake one, the box is a little bit bigger. See here, it's only one or two millimeters, but it's too big. The next thing is this color. On the fake one, they've used, you know, a generic red. On the real one, it's a darker red. And the next big, big, big difference is the quality of the prints. On the real one, see how detailed that is and how rich the colors are? On the fake one, the colors are a little bit faded and it doesn't have the same detail. And that's seen throughout. On all of the printing, it's just not quite right. Um, as for the stamp here, well, I'm gonna come to that in a minute. We'll remove the plastic wrapper so you can take a closer look. Uh, what else is different with these? Well, the quality of the box. If you look on the real one, see how this lines up with this. You've got a nice, you know, all of the edges line up. You've got a sharp fit here. Well, on the fake one, you see? Big gap there. And then when you look at these corners, it's okay on the front, but look here. It's quite far off. Um, and when you look on the edges, you see a little bit of showing on the inside of the box. It's just not quite right. The thing is, it's good enough to fool you, but if you look close, you can see that, hey, wait, this doesn't quite seem right. It's not the same quality as the real one. And you might say, well, who cares? It's just a box. But what's more important is what's inside because cigarettes are dangerous anyway. Imagine when they're fake. You have no idea what they're putting in them. You have no idea if the filters are working to filter out, you know, well, you're going to take in bad stuff anyway, but to filter out some of the worst stuff. So fake cigarettes can be very dangerous. Anyway, let's remove the plastic wrapper and we'll talk about this sticker here uh, because that 100% confirms that these are fake cigarettes. Now we've removed the plastic, we can take a closer look at these stickers and already you can see the difference. Look at how detailed this one is and how colorful and then look at how washed out this is. If I bring it closer, you'll get a better look. See, look at the darker blue here. It's so faint there. Text, very readable, barely readable. And the bigger one is, see this branch at the Tarsier is holding on to. If I go like this sideways, you see how the light is reflecting off this? It's a foil. But on this one, they've just used ink, so it doesn't reflect the light. So right there, that's a big red flag that they haven't duplicated the sticker properly. Although saying that, over here, they've used a reflective foil, and they have actually managed that. They've used a reflective foil, so that's quite interesting. But the quality is just not the same, especially look at the background. So much detail, right? This one, you can barely see any detail. It's very washed out. It's just not the same quality. So yes, they've tried to fake the stamp, but it's not as good. Um, very, very low quality. And uh, I guess that's the biggest giveaway, especially since they didn't manage to copy the green foil. Um, this one, see how it's reflective. So, I mean, once you actually put this on a scanner, or you look under a microscope, you can see so many differences. But for the average person looking from the outside, it's generally just washed out print, low quality box, the seams don't match up, it doesn't close properly, um, the print isn't quite right. So there are ways to tell even if you don't have equipment to do it properly. Now the next thing is to actually open these up and take a look inside, that's what I'm curious about. Another thing I want to see is how easy it is to remove the sticker. So this is on the fake one. I don't know if this will tell us anything. I did try UV light, but I couldn't see any special security stuff, but I'm not an expert, so I might have missed something. Anyway, that was relatively easy to get off the fake one. Let's have a look on the real one. See that seam? Very tight. Oh, that broke much easier as well. That tore very easy. On the fake one, it took a lot more effort to open the pack and to tear that. So that's a difference. Okay, let's see if we can peel this off. Yeah, see this one left a lot more of the paper behind. 
Okay, so on the left we've got the fake one, on the right we've got the real one. Again, see how neat this is? Very nicely closed. Look at this. Looks like it was put together by, I don't know, a donkey. <laughs> it's not very well done at all. They, they haven't creased it properly. Um, this, this has got like a plasticky feel on the inside, I guess, to protect it from liquid. This one is just a paper. There's no, there's no plasticky bit on the inside like this. So that's different straight away. The paper is not the same. Okay, so let's remove one cigarette from each and see how they compare. So here we have a cigarette from each pack. This one is the real one. This one is a fake one. And again, they've made it too big. See, a couple of millimeters too long. But more interestingly is the filter. It's different. Let me bring it closer to show you. On the real one, it says Marlboro. See how that goes around the filter there? The fake one doesn't have any text on the filter, although they have written Marlboro here. And what I'm doing now is emptying the tobacco so that we can just compare them against each other. I'm expecting they're going to look practically the same, but we might as well just take a close look. Although saying that, they don't look quite the same. In the fake one here, the mix looks a little bit different to that one. Anyway, let's empty it out and uh, we'll bring the camera in for a closer look. Now before we look at the tobacco, I want to show you something else that I've noticed with the filter. See on the real one, where it's orange, that's really the end of the filter. On this one, the filter is actually much smaller. Even though it goes up to there, it's much smaller. So if we tear this back, you see? So again, we've got a big difference there. The real one has a much longer filter. So that's quite interesting. Let's open up the fake filter just to see if there's anything we can see inside. Like I said, I'm not an expert, so I don't really know what I'm looking for, but we're just taking a look. Okay, let's try the real one and see if there's uh, any significant difference in the way it tears apart. Okay, yeah, there is a difference. See how this one splits into nice sections like that? That is different, because on the other one, it kind of... Uh, kind of stayed together, didn't rip very clean at all, so yeah, there is there is a minor difference, but nothing of interest. So here's the tobacco from the real cigarette, and here's the tobacco from the fake one, and you should be able to see a difference. If you look at this, you can see it's quite finely cut, but when you look at this one, it's got lots of longer sections in it, it's not as fine at all, and if you smell them, they're different. This one here from the real cigarette smells like tobacco. This one here smells like when you walk in the supermarket next to the, you know, the aisle that's selling herbs or herbs, depending on how you pronounce it. That's what this smells like. So, like I said, I'm not a professional. Uh, I'm just telling you what I observe. But even you, you can see a difference on camera, right? How finely ground this one is versus this one, which is quite rough and it's got lots of longer pieces in it. And the smell is different, completely different. I don't smoke so I'm not planning to put them side by side and try them and honestly I wouldn't recommend you do it either because like I said smoking is bad for you anyway, smoking fake cigarettes is even more dangerous. Uh, if you're buying cigarettes from people on the street there's a good possibility that they could be fake because at 40 peso a pack that's very tempting compared to 100 peso a pack. Now I know there are places where you can buy them cheaper. Uh, I bought it from Shell just because I know 100% it's going to be genuine. Um, but still, 40 peso is too cheap. So if you are buying these, the first thing that you want to look out for is the quality of this. If it looks dull, if it looks like it's lacking detail, it could be fake. If this color is kind of a bright red like this instead of a darker red like this, that's a problem. Uh, when you look at the bottom here, there is actually a difference between these but unless you have a real pack to compare to the fake one it's going to be kind of hard to do that but the biggest giveaways are just the box quality on the fake one uh, it doesn't line up properly on the edges it often doesn't line up like here the print quality is very low and uh, on the sticker the one that you saw up here it could be see i don't want to say that it's always going to be like this because i'm sure there's different qualities of fakes uh but on this specific one it was lacking the reflective green uh i don't know ink or foil or whatever it is so you know if i was you i'd recommend look at that you can see even there on the real one see how bright that is and how you know the font is so nice and then on the fake one it's just dull um, so if you do want to smoke, at least make sure you buy your cigarettes from a legitimate store. 
otherwise you don't know what you're smoking and the people that make these they don't care about you they don't care if what they put in this is going to kill you faster because it's fake anyway you'll never be able to hold them responsible you'll never find out who actually supplied these um, so yeah I wouldn't recommend buying fake cigarettes if you have to smoke at least make sure you buy from a legitimate store